Hey there guys, uh, Mr. RC Fanatic here. Uh, you may or may not have seen my other videos yet, but uh, my subscribers already know that I've been building an RC boat for the past 460 plus days. And uh, today we're going back in time a bit, as I've had a number of people actually ask me how I made the plug for my boat. Um, part one of my series showed you the general idea of how I made it, but I thought I'd make more of a, a formal uh, you know, how-to video to help you out. Um, first, I just want to say that this video will walk you through how I made my wooden boat to use as a plug for fiberglass molds. But the concept is actually very similar if you just want to make a simple wooden boat for you just to run around in, in, uh, instead of having a fiberglass one. The boat began as a 3D model on my PC. I made it using Google SketchUp, uh, which is actually a free program. Anyone can download it for their, either their PC or their Mac. And uh, basically, you, you can draw any shape you want in three dimensions and you can export 2D graphics so I uh, I got some ideas from other boats that I've seen on the internet of what I wanted it to look like um, I was concentrating on the Apache boat style and you can actually see here in this picture that I have my boat on the left and the Apache boat on the right and uh, the real Apache has the angled front pieces mine is rounded and that's because of um, the engine that I've decided to go with is quite large and it would not fit underneath an angled front uh, canopy. So that's why I have the rounded one. Um, but basically you just, you just you can uh, figure out the shape that you want to make and you draw it all up. Take a little time with Google SketchUp, it's a great program, but it, uh, it does take just a little bit just to get used to it. Tons of YouTube videos on how to use it if you're finding it any uh, difficult at all. Um, Basically, once you got the boat shape that you want, um, you want to take the sides of the boat and flatten them out. So be careful not to distort the shape at all, but you want to take the piece and instead of it being bent to fit the shape, the curve of the side of the boat, flatten out straight and uh, export a 2D graphic so that you can have an image which you can print off even if you want and uh, blow up to the size of the boat that you want. So for me, I wanted a 54 inch boat. So I found the dimension of the picture and uh, I actually just got some paper and traced the image from my screen straight onto the paper and that worked well for me, it was free, didn't have to go to a special printing place to get it all printed out and just stuck the pieces of paper together. And uh, there are your plans. So you got the boat, you got your plans, now it's time to make it. Trace them right onto the wood and cut it out just with a, just any saw, it doesn't really matter what type, just as long as it has uh, quite fine teeth to it and uh, just use a file to get the edges nice and smooth. Um, then I went back to SketchUp and measured the angle of the hull at uh, different uh, intervals from the back of the transom, uh, back of the boat, the transom, that's what it's called. Uh, I used these measurements then to make sure that I got the angle of the hull perfect, and uh, or at least to the scale of the SketchUp model. And then I cut some pieces of wood to these angles and screwed them onto the outside pieces. So. You can see in this picture right here that um, the, the sides and the bottom are being held together by different little blocks of wood that are being cut to the right angle. Um, this is still tricky because you got to get the length from the back of the boat correct and you also have to make sure that it's screwed in to the sides of the boat correctly as well. So just take your time with this though as it will ultimately define what your boat will look like. Um, once you got the pieces together in the right shape, go ahead and grab your hot glue gun and uh, on the inside of the hull, go along all the edges where pieces of wood meet and just secure it all together so that nothing will move. Um, then what you're going to notice is that you're going to notice that the side piece of wood and the, and the very bottom piece of wood, that there's a gap between the two. And that's fine because what we're doing here is we're not just having the, at least on, on my boat, you'll, I, I have this, so you'll see that in the pictures here. Depends on how you've made your boat. So I used cardboard and I hot glued that into the gap that I had along there and uh, I set it in slightly beneath the surface from where I want the final surface of that that splash guard to be. Now you pretty much got the lower portion of the boat so now what you're going to do is you're going to flip the boat upside down trace around the edge of the top of the boat onto the wood and uh, onto some wood and that will be the shape for the top of the boat now what I did is I inset the line that I drew onto the wood by about half an inch or so 
And basically that was just that the top of the bow was slightly smaller than the rest of it, and I could make a nice uh, curved edge or fillet from the sides of the bow up to the top. So that's, that just makes that look a little bit more classy, but if you want a nice sharp edge to the boat, you would just leave it the, uh, the size of uh, the line you traced out. Um, then you want to get some little blocks of wood and uh, screw it onto the sides of the boat and screw it onto the top piece of wood just to uh, secure the top onto the boat at the, at the area that you want it. Again, there'll be a gap around the side, but we'll fix that later with some more card. And uh, then I use auto body filler to smooth out on top of that and uh, sand that smooth and get that perfect as the top piece there. Once you got that the top done, you pretty much are all set with your boat. So at this stage, if you are going to make a fiberglass boat, you're all set to start going ahead and prime this, this piece. But if you're wanting this to be your actual boat, I do highly recommend that you fiberglass the outside of this. Um, and that's just because it'll give you a little bit extra strength, for sure, but it's also just a good way of sealing the boat, because some wood will soak up water like a sponge, and if you haven't sealed it properly with, with some good quality epoxy paints and stuff, you're dead. And you do not want your nice boat that you've been spent a lot of time on sinking. So, because <laughs> that would suck. So, um, fiber... Look, look into getting some fiberglass cloth, which is woven and uh, got a lot less texture to it, and use that to cover the outside of the boat with resin and um, squeegee off the excess resin so that it's as smooth as you can get, and sand it once it's cured, and then put on some more filler just to smooth it off perfect, and then you can, you can prime that boat and paint it up nicely and, and then finish it off as the boat that you want. Um, for me, though, I'm using this as a plug for a fiberglass boat, as I said before, though. So, what I did is I didn't fiberglass this wooden boat. I just painted it with primer a bunch of times, and then I painted it with just a normal gloss paint. I do recommend that you use a spray paint for doing any of this sort of stuff. A brush or a roller will just leave texture that has to be sanded out if you want the boat to look beautifully smooth and uh, that takes a lot of sanding and actually it wastes a lot of paint. So just look into getting some spray paint, some good quality new spray paint. Old stuff just does not work very nicely in the same way. I used a lot of old stuff because well I was wanting to keep the cost down <laughs> but um, new, new quality paint is is always nice to work with. It's always much better so uh, when you're doing that sand between coats with with 600 grit wet dry sandpaper, I found that was uh, a good grit range for sanding uh, the paint. I do do want to just stress again though, if if you're at this stage and you're you're making a fiberglass boat like I did, the um, the hull has not been sealed with fiberglass, so it's just paint. It's just primer and paint that's sealing it. So do be careful if you're wet sanding that you don't get the wood wet because that can start lifting paint off in areas and it can just ruin your, your boat. I had some problems in some areas with that, so just be careful. Just a little tip there as well. Um, and basically, yeah, just go on from that point. You should have the boat pretty much finished by that point because you've wet sanded the, the paint and it should be nice and smooth. Give it a good quality Carnuba wax. You want to definitely wax the boat, whether you're going to be using this as a wooden boat or not. Get some wax on the boat, that'll, that'll make it nice and smooth and actually it'll bring a little bit of shine into the boat. And uh, from there on, you're just going to want to fiberglass it to make your molds if you're, if you're going that route. Um, I'm not going to talk much about fiberglassing because I'm not a professional. And uh, there are tons of great guys on here on, on YouTube that have some good videos that walk you through how to fiberglass and just type it into the search, you know, how to fiberglass and uh, Gaster's Glass, he's got some really good stuff, learned a lot from him and uh, just a whole, whole bunch of guys. Um, if you want to see what I did though, just for some ideas, I'm not, I don't really talk a lot about uh, how to fiberglass in my other videos, but if you want to see the process that I took, um, check out some of my other vids. I got some... <laughs> vids. I'm talking as if I was uh, typing this. <laughs> uh, just check out some of my other videos. Uh, I got a uh, build series and I got some other videos on my channel. So the earlier ones, I've got some molds and uh, yeah, just 
feel free to check out some stuff that I got up there. If you found this video helpful, give me a like, and uh, feel free to leave any comments if you've got any questions, or just want any little tips or parts of the boat that you're having troubles with. Um, I do realize it's winter. It's uh, pretty much winter time now, for uh, at least for, for where I live, but uh, sometimes winter time is always a nice time of year to, to have a project to work on, and a boat's always fun because you get to look forward to next summer, so... Um, if you're if you're working on a boat this winter, I can say good luck and uh, give me some feedback. Let me know how it's going and uh, if you found this video helpful. And uh, yeah, good luck and uh, see you around, guys. Cheers. Bye.